Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. In this video, we will discuss the third problem of Lead Code Weekly Contest 299. It's a hard level problem. Uh, in fact, I also feel the same because generally it's it's harder than the third question that you generally get in the uh, Lead Code Contest, the third question that you get in uh, all other contests. So, uh, pretty interesting one. So, the problem name is Maximum Score of Spliced Array. So, you are given uh, two zero indexed integer array, num1 and num2 both of length n now you can choose two integers left and right where obviously left and right uh, uh, is a valid index like it lies between 0 to n and swap the subarray uh, nums of 1 left to right with this subarray nums up to left of right that means choose a range of indices and you can swap the swap the values in the two arrays right in whichever order you want you just need to choose a subarray now you may choose to apply the above mentioned operation once or do or, or do nothing right so you can at most perform this operation once or you can skip this step now the score of the array is the maximum uh, of sum of nums one and sum of nums two that means uh, so the final array that you get if you do an operation or you just skip it so the sum uh, so we'll get two particular sum of uh, one of array one and one of array two right so we need to return the maximum value amongst those two so that is the maximum possible score right and it tells that a sub array is a contiguous sequence of elements within an array uh, and blah 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 so yeah it just tells the definition of uh, that sub array so if we go to the go with the example so we can see the example once we have 60 60 60 and 10 90 10 so obviously we can see that if we uh, choose left and right as one that means we choose a sub array which includes indices just one and if we swap it between the two arrays so the final array that we'll get then the first array will become 60 90 60 and the second array will become 10 60 and 10 so that means obviously the first array will be a larger one so the total sum that we can get in that case is 210 so uh, let's try to see how to approach this problem uh, it's basically uh, uh, an extension of how you find the maximum sub array right maximum sub array problem so you use cadence algorithm right cadence algorithm so uh, if if we see suppose we have certain elements like a b c d uh, suppose we have x y z w something like this right now just see let's take two cases the first case is suppose this is the array this is the array which needs to be modified to get the final answer now there are two things actually na? because this array is already a big array like having a big value what we can do we can just replace some elements from this array uh, which are not contributing that much and probably which have a relatively larger values in the second array so what we can do we can swap it so the final array can become a y z w and then it becomes x b c d right so and again we can do it for the other way around as well so once uh, so uh, in in one iteration we will consider that okay this array is 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 having larger values and what if i replace the elements of this array and in the second case we will consider that okay this array is the one which we are considering and we just need to replace the elements of these arrays so that we can get a larger value right so uh, that's the that's the trick in this question and if you come to the actual implementation then just think just think of this that suppose there are two elements so this is b and this is y right now just just think that if b minus y is greater than 0 right or to simplify if b is greater than y then that means we don't need to replace b with y now obviously edge cases are there but uh, just to tackle the simple cases first if b is greater than y then obviously we don't need to replace b right however if y is greater than b then theoretically replacing b with y will give us a larger sum of array one right a larger sum because we are replacing a smaller value with a larger one right now there are a number of so what what are the other conditions like suppose b c d is here right so we can only replace this element or we can replace this sub array or we can replace this sub array or we can replace this sub array so there are many sub arrays that can be formed because n is large here i think it, it is 10 raised to the power 5 yeah it is 10 raised to the power 5 so what we can do 
the approach that we use in the in the in the maximum sub area now we can do it like that only so what we do there we keep on calculating the sum suppose one two three minus five something like this here we don't have negative values but actually uh, what is happening here we can get negative values because suppose the at, at a particular index uh, we have value five in the first array and value 10 in the second array so if we subtract it so it becomes minus five right so suppose you have an array 1 2 3 minus 5 minus 10 20 something like this so what you do in cadence algorithm you basically start traversing you calculate the sum so one it becomes one it becomes three it becomes six now you come here you come here so what do you do you basically you basically see that whether the uh, whether whether now suppose that is minus 15 just to uh, take edge cases suppose we add minus 15 here so what it becomes it becomes minus 9 right now obviously minus 9 is something not uh, that we don't want and this element is what it is doing is that the magnitude of this element is large and it is contributing in the negative direction right so what we do here we we, we skip this element so the the sum that we obtained till here was 6 right that was 6 right and here what we do we don't include this element and we have a global uh, variable which keeps on the maximum sum that we get in this sub -array. suppose we get six here right now we can do there is another sub array which gives us 25 right so we can keep on updating our maximum value right so this is this is how we approach the uh, the problem of uh, maximum sub array now in this case in this case what we can do is that uh, what we can do we can take out the diffs like suppose 10 20 or or let's take the example of 60 60 60 the one that is given in the problem 10 90 and 10 right so what we do we we start traversing right we take a variable we take a variable that what is the current sum let's let it be zero now what we do we we, we see that this minus this right it, so first we'll we'll consider that this is the array so we'll 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 see whether this element should be replaced by this or not so it will be 10 minus 60 in the opposite direction 10 minus 60 so is it uh, is it contributing in a positive way or not right so we basically add it to our current sum similar to what we do current sum so current sum becomes equals to uh, this value so it becomes minus 50 right it becomes minus 50 now what we do we see that oh current sum has become negative that means if i replace this element with this element that means the total sum of this array will decrease so i don't need to do this so if current sum is less than zero i do current sum equals to zero right however however on the other hand on the other hand when we move to this index so based on the first index current current sum is still zero we come here we calculate 90 minus 60 so we get 30 so we increment current sum equals plus equals to 30 right plus equals to 30 now this is obviously greater than zero right now we'll have a global variable which will keep on tracking the maximum value that we have got till here so that will be the maximum sum in a sub array right so max will be equal to max of zero this is the current value and 30 right so this becomes 30 now we move to the next position now what is the next position it is 60 and 10 so that becomes 10 minus 60 right it becomes 10 minus 60 so again it is minus 50 now if we add current sum we add minus 50 so what what this will become this will become uh, earlier it was 30 now it was it has become minus 20 so we even if we update our max sum what will happen the value still remains 30 and since current is less than zero we make current equals to zero so why we are making current equals to zero like just think if current is greater than zero if current is greater than zero so no matter we have encountered a negative value right now that means suppose um, here it is 20 here it is 30 and the current sum till here is 100 just assume okay it is 100 so this gives us minus 10 so if we add it here if we add it here so the sum becomes 90 but still if you see here that that we are already keeping a track of the maximum sum we are already keeping a track of the maximum sum so initially it was 100 now it has become 90 so max of 190 becomes 100 but we will not make current as zero why similar to uh, what we do in the general questions because 
देर आर चांसेस दैट इफ आई टेक दिस सब एरे सो आई बिन टेकिंग अ सब एरे एंड हेयर आई गॉट नाइन्टी एज द डिफ बट हेयर देर इज़ अ पॉसिबिलिटी दैट आई कैन गेट समथिंग लाइक दैट हेयर इट इज़ टेन एंड हेयर इट इज़ टेन रेज टू फोर राइट सो वट विल हैपन वी विल गेट अ डिफ वी विल गेट अ डिफ ऑफ नाइन 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 जीरो एट दिस पोजिशन सो इफ वी वुड हैव मेड करेंट एज जीरो देन दिस नाइन्टी वुड हैव गॉन हाउ एवर we now we can add 90 in this right 90 in this so our result will be greater than what we are getting in this case so exactly similar to the uh, approach that we follow in the maximum sum that you keep keep on calculating the diff and those diff are acting as the elements of the array where we are performing maximum sub array operation right so we do it for the first array first and then for the second array why for the second array because first we try to replace the elements of the first array and we find what is the maximum sum that we can obtain from the second array which can be replaced in the first array and the second approach is we are considering array number 2 here array number 2 here and we find the maximum sub array here which can be replaced here right so we apply this operation two times now let's look into the code code is pretty simple here now we can see we have found out the total sum in line number 5 and 6 of both the arrays and then we calculate the answer so initially obviously that by default the answer will be max of these two now we start applying the cadence cadence algorithm so we start traversing it and as explained in the question current equals to num of 2 uh, of i minus num of 1 of i right so we inc increment our current and we keep on updating our max value right so max will be the current max and the current value that we've got now as soon as current becomes negative we make it zero because now if we get a larger value also it will be con it will be decreasing the magnitude the current value of the current value that we have in the variable will decrease the magnitude and that is not what we want right so finally if we get some value in max so that represents that okay this much sum can be increased of array 1 so what we do on line number 18 answer equals to math of answer and sum of 1 what is sum of 1 this sum of uh, the initial array the first array and max contains the diff what extra magnitude of this array can be increased so this this becomes our answer now we do similar stuff for the second array we traverse it and in this case on line number 24 you can see we do nums of 1 uh, nums 1 of i minus nums 2 of i right similar or everything is similar and finally we take out the max value that we can get so i would say pretty good question uh, uh, an implementation of an algorithm that we 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 have i think studied uh, or we have seen from quite some time right so uh, i hope you learn something new from this video and if you have any query then please do add that in the comments i'll try to answer each one of them uh, do support this video by subscribing to the channel and do like the video and take care see you in the next video